This is a tutorial on special forms of polynomials. When we talk about special forms of polynomials, the first thing we're going to talk about are perfect square trinomials. Now there's two different types of perfect square trinomials. The first one is when we have a plus b squared. Well that always equals a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And we can prove this because a plus b squared is the same as a plus b times a plus b. Now when we multiply that out, we multiply the a times a and the a times b, and then we multiply our b times a and our b times b. So if we do that, a times a, and then a times b, and then we'll have b times a, and then b times b. Now a times a is a squared, a times b is just ab, and then b times a is ab again, and then b times b is b squared. Now you can think of this as a 1ab and a 1ab, so if we combine our like terms, we get a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, which is exactly what we have here. So if you can memorize that a plus b squared is always a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, you can use that to solve other perfect square trinomials. So let's try this. Here we have x plus 3 squared. Well that means that our x is a and our b is 3. So if we use this form because a plus b squared is always a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, we can plug in x for a and 3 for b. So if we do that, we'll have x squared in for a squared plus 2 times a, which is x, and then times 3, which is b, for 2ab. And then our b squared would be 3 plugged in for b squared. Now x squared is x squared, 2 times x times 3, well 2 times 3 is 6 and then times x, and then 3 squared is 9. So x plus 3 squared then is x squared plus 6x plus 9. Let's try this again. Here we have 2a plus 3b squared. Well in this case our a is actually 2a and our b is actually 3b. So if we plug that in for a and b in this equation here, we'll have 2a squared plus 2 times our a is actually 2a and our b is actually 3b and then plus b squared but our b is actually 3b squared. So if we simplify this, 2a squared would be 4a squared 2 times 2a times 3b, well we have 2 times 2 times 3, that's 12, and then a times b, and then 3b squared would be 9b squared. So 2a plus 3b squared then would be equal to 4a squared plus 12ab plus 9b squared. So now let's talk about our other perfect square trinomial. This one is when we have a minus b squared. Well, if we have a minus b squared, then that's always equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. And we could prove that because a minus b squared is the same as a minus b times a minus b. And when we FOIL that out, we'll multiply our a times a and our a times negative b. And then we'll multiply our negative b times a and our negative b times negative b. If we do that, we'll have a times a plus a times negative b. And then we'll have negative b times a. And then negative b times negative b. Now if we simplify this, a times a is 
a squared. a times minus b would be a negative ab. Negative b times a is another negative ab. And then negative b times negative b is a positive b squared. So notice this is exactly what we had here. So whenever you see a minus b squared, you can immediately convert that into a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So let's try using this. Here we have x minus 4 squared. Well this is just like this a minus b squared here. a would be our x and b would be our 4. So if we plug those in to this equation, we'd have a squared, where our a is x, minus 2 times our a again, which is x, times our b, which is 4, and then we'll add b, which is 4 again, squared. Now if we simplify this, x squared is x squared, Minus 2 times 4 would be a negative 8x, and then 4 squared is 16. So if you have x minus 4 squared, that's the same as x squared minus 8x plus 16. Let's try this one more time. Here we have 4z minus w squared. Well, in this case, our 4z would be a, and our w would be b. So if we plug those in to this equation, We'll have 4z squared, because 4z is a, minus 2 times our a, which is 4z, times our b, which is w, and then plus our b, which is w again, squared. Now 4z squared is 16z squared, minus 2 times 4, which is 8, and then times z times w, and then plus w squared. So 4z minus w squared is equal to 16z squared minus 8zw plus w squared. Now the last special form of polynomial that we're going to talk about is the difference of two squares. This is when we have an a minus b times an a plus b. If you ever see this, it's always equal to a squared minus b squared. And we can prove this. If we have a minus b times a plus b, when we foil that out, we'll take a times a and then a times b. And then we'll take negative b times a and negative b times a positive b. If we do that, we'll end up with a times a, a times b, and then a negative b times a, and a negative b times b. If we simplify this, a times a is a squared. a times b is just ab. Negative b times a would be a negative ab. And then negative b times b is a negative b squared. Now notice we have a common terms here. We have a 1ab and a negative 1ab. Well, 1 minus 1 is 0, so we'd end up with 0ab. So those terms cancel, and we're left with just a squared minus b squared, which is what we had up here. So if you ever see two binomials in the form of a minus b times a plus b, that's always equal to a squared minus b squared. So let's try using this. Here we have x minus 7 times x plus 7. But well, we have the same numbers here, or variables. One's a minus, one's a plus. So it's in this form of a minus b times a plus b. That means our x is a, and our 7 is b. So if we plug that into here, we'll end up with a squared, or x squared, minus b squared, or 7 squared. So this is going to become x squared minus 49. Let's try this one more time. Here we have 3x plus 5 times 3x minus 5. Well, we have 3x in the beginning of each, so our 3x is going to be a. 
and then we have a 5 at the end. So this is going to be B. And if we plug in 3x for A into this equation, we'll get 3x squared for A squared, and then subtract B squared, where B is 5. 3x squared would be 9x squared. And then 5 squared is 25, so this is minus 25. So 3x plus 5 times 3x minus 5 is equal to 9x squared minus 25. And that completes our tutorial on special forms of polynomials.